Hello and welcome, this is Insta30 and I'm starting to play Agatha Christie Acupuro the London case, which was just re released today. Uh, unfortunately, it's quite late for me to start to play this. But anyways, I want to play this. Um, again, yes, this was just released, uh, newest of the Agatha Christie lines. Uh, this is from the same maker, uh, developers as uh, who developed the first cases. Uh, interesting, I got the Christian take, uh, younger Poirot, and um, overall I enjoyed it. Uh, little uh, problems here and there, nothing major. Basically with the mind map, what was it, mind map or... Yes, mind map. Ba basically there were a few times when you and Poirot n knew what to do, but because you didn't connect those things in the mind map, you didn't know. So let's see how it works in this. Um, interesting is that this is going to be one of the first Poirots on this autumn. Uh, in October there will be a Murder of Orient Express. Was it Mur Murder of the Orient Express? Yes, I think it was. Indeed, uh, I had to check it. It's uh, yeah, Agatha Christie, Murder on the Orient Express, and it will be released in 19th of October this year so i'm obviously gonna play that i have played one orient express already um bit older one and i think we will meet hastings in this too so yeah that would that will be fun to see younger hastings and if i understood correctly the case starts as we should be protecting uh mary magdalene painting um we will see how it goes from there. So, I don't know anything more about it. So, let's just jump in. Oh, wait, there's collectibles. Uh, well, we we'll see what we can get. So, new game. Prologue the ship. Detective Hercule Poirot leaves the shores. Blah, blah, blah. Detective Hercule Poirot? Ah, Chief Commissioner. On the contrary, it is a most convenient time. The safe passage of a painting. Tell me everything. Oh, Monsieur Poirot. There's nothing, no one mentioning about any murder, so we will see if there will be one. But usually there are. So I'll be getting seven deadly sins or something like that now. At least some of them. Okay. If man was meant to travel the oceans in such conditions, he would surely have been given his own things. A distraction is what one needs. Where is that blasted contact? How is one to prepare for an assignment if one does not have all of the required information? Very well. I shall wait no longer. Hmm, that sounds a bit low. 
Is him she? Pardon, monsieur. The open water. There really is nothing quite like her. When one suffers from a mal de mer, the beauty, as you say, is rather more a burden. Forgive me, I just can't imagine being scared of the ocean in this day and age. The potential to see the world is open to even the ordinary man like us. I can assure you, monsieur, it is not a matter of being scared. And as for ordinary... I didn't mean to offend, mister. I am... Forgive me, madame. No harm done. Accidents happen. I... My cigarette case. Where is it? I didn't see. You thought I wouldn't notice? A young lady traveling alone. An easy target for you, I bet. I'm sure the young lady would appreciate the help of two handsome strangers. Okay. I'll have to check the sounds now. They were a lot... Trying to explore the scene, try finding missing cigarette case. Okay, yes, but where are my options? Let's see. Because in the menu, the sounds were quite low. Compared uh, what they're in game, let's go with this. Let me check one thing. Hmm. Hopefully it's working. Well, we have to adjust them there if we need to. So let's go back. Use. Well, I'm gonna go and check everything. Unknown item. Did we just? Oh. Some objects can be viewed in more detail. Try finding all points of interest on this object. So, we can move camera, we can rotate the item, zoom in, zoom out, and select. I guess that is something we need. Courage, nobility, and the British. Courage, mon ami. And I guess we already met Monsieur Hastings. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have, can we open it? Hmm. Old but in near perfect condition. Well, that's good. A silver cigarette case adorned with family crest. Indeed. Uh, collect items are added to your inventory. Left click to check this at any time. Cigarette case. I don't want with the f her family crest, I presume. Yes. Okay. I will, I will, but until we do that, I'll check around. Oh. Huh. I have no reason to go there now. Fine. Can we go up? Uh, probably not. Cabin. Huh. Oh, I probably have to take those. Uh... Let's drop them a little bit. Okay. I'll have to check if there's anything else to collect. Probably not, but um, I might as well check. I can... Oh! Can I go past this? Yes, I can. Uh -huh. <laughs> Interact with the porter. I didn't drop it on purpose. Fine. <laughs> oh dear. What a mess. Okay. So we need to... Suitcase and a passenger. Can I talk to him? How could a porter be so clumsy? Let's give her a hand. Okay. Oh, I need to use. A young lady should not be left to gather her own things. You are returning home? 
I am. But how did you know that? Uh, select the correct answers to progress. Much like your investigation, you may need to keep searching for clues before you can solve this fully. I don't know, I'm returning home. Crimson hair, such striking hair. Uh, well... We could go with the date engraving or striking hair, but we are going with the lion emblem. Besides your educated accent, the crest that adorns your cigarette case, it is of British origin. Very observant. It's the crest of my family, and the case belonged to my mother. I take it everywhere with me. Miss Florence Farquhar, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Indeed. The pleasure is ours. That looks like everything. Except for my powder case. Oh, you're missing powder case now. What is this what you're looking for? It is. Thank you, Miss. Miss Babani. Anastasia Babani. Anastasia? What a beautiful name. It was my grandmother's. Well, that's everything now. I can't thank you all enough for your help. I'd be happy to escort you. Here, I'll take your bag. Oh, yes. Okay, thank you. Cabin 4. I'll be right behind you. Anastasia, perhaps I can offer you a token of my gratitude in the bar later? That would be lovely. <laughs> and you? Mr. Detective Hercule Poirot, at your service. A detective? I was not expecting to meet such a distinguished gentleman on board. Well... I did not expect to meet someone of Russian descent on a ship between the great city of Antwerp and Dover. Why not? I never mentioned where I was from either. Um, how do I, how do you know I'm of a Russian descent? I presume she's from closely related family with an Eastern European origins. What do I know? Um, Anastasia relates to Anastasios, a Russian form of Greek name Anastasios, meaning resurrection. Uh, well, of course, Eastern European origins or striking beauty. Um, let's go with the name. One did not have to... Anastasia, of Russian origin, meaning resurrection. Are we? Excuse me, thinking I'm special. Your knowledge of my heritage is most impressive. And I'll take that as my cue to leave. Good evening. Good evening. It seems it's just us remaining. I would very much like to hear stories from your homeland. Perhaps you would join me in the restaurant. As charming as that would be, I'm feeling rather tired. It must be all the sea air. Okay. Then I shall leave you to your slumber. Adieu. Somehow I feel that most of these characters will be... As much as I enjoyed the delights of the restaurant, I still found my mind drifting back to Mademoiselle Babania. She really was quite charming. Okay, but... I have spent the first part of this excursion neglecting my duties. It's time to retrieve my notebook from this safe and begin. The combination was not a difficult one to remember. 1815, the Battle of Waterloo. Okay. Ah. Ah. Oh, did... Ah. Yeah. Et voilà. Time to... Well, can we get a little peace? One cannot ignore such a blood-curdling scream. <laughs> no. The cigarette case. It's gone. How could somebody do this? Again? Mademoiselle, I ask that you take a moment to calm. You're a detective, of course. What luck. As luck would have it. One of Belgium's finest. Now, I require as many details of the crime as you can offer. I came to my cabin and began unpacking. 
I couldn't get the safe working, but the gentleman that helped me with my luggage showed me how it works. Afterwards, I went for a brief walk, and when I returned, the safe was open, and my cigarette case was gone. We must consider the suspect list. Those who were aware of the cigarette case's existence. That can only be those who were up on the deck when my luggage spilled. Miss Baban, you mean? The porter? Yourself? And your helpful stranger? Yes, of course. I ask that you gather them for me. And while you are absent, I shall begin my investigation in here. If Mademoiselle permits. Whatever you need to do to find it. Okay. Sure thing. New mind map unlocked. Well, that's good. The theft of Mademoiselle Farquhar's cigarette case has plagued me for long enough. I must consider everything I know and deduce the true thief. Whenever Pirate uncovers an interesting area of investigation, a mind map is launched. Here you can see all the evidence related to very first investigation. Using your mouse, try highlighting each piece of evidence to see Poirot's interpretation of them. Florence. Or er, Farquhar. Do I need to... Okay, we can tune in. Uh, Mademoiselle Farquhar's set of keys to her cabin given to her when boarding the ship, no doubt. Mademoiselle Farquhar has not had any visitors to her cabin before her cry for help, that is. Mademoiselle Farquhar must have been aware of the safe combination code to open the safe in the first place. Oh, what, whoa, 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 what happened there? Explore cabin more clues you can use to rotate camera. Where, oh, some may be easy to spot, some may not be. But can I go back to them? Yeah. Inspect ship, check fingerprints, talk to sus suspects. Yes, then there's this. A sterling silver cigarette case that belonged to Mademoiselle Farquhar's mother was stolen from the safe in her cabin. Huh. Well, there's a lot of things happening here then. Anything I... Let's interact with the sink then. Oh. One must present themselves at their best at all times. The mirror is a little high for my stature, however. Well, it's... yeah, it's quite high. <laughs> to be honest, that's ridiculously high. Anything over here? A little bit of problems on pathfinding, nothing too severe. Nothing on the ta bed, not table. Let's check the room safe first. Mm. Mm. Oh. Is there any way to adjust the uh, uh, mouse? Mm. If the thief left any signs of accessing the safe, perhaps fingerprint on the dial will be it. Uh, how do we take a fingerprint? Uh. Contents missing, yes. Well, I guess they would be missing. Hmm. Can I move a little bit more? Basically, only so. No obvious signs that the safe has been tampered with. The thief must have found another way in. Well, yes. Okay, did I see something over there? I don't know if there's... Ah. And this must have only become obvious once the safe was moved. Perhaps the cleaner should reassess their standards. So line of dust. It's, I guess I should watch more closely that uh, circle to see when I need to see Mademoiselle, something. Oh, I thought you would be returning with a gentleman also. 
The gentleman wanted to speak to the porter alone first. I was unaware he is also a detective. He's not a policeman. He works in insurance, I believe. It appears I shall be spending my time chasing amateur detectives around the ship. Yes. Mademoiselle, I would like to start with who had access to the safe combination. No one. It was in a sealed envelope that was waiting for me when I arrived. I memorized it and threw the paper overboard. Four, three, eight, five. It's really not that difficult to remember. A similar envelope was waiting for me upon my arrival. The date of the Battle of Waterloo, as I recall. Every safe, although identical, must have a different combination. After the gentleman helped me with the safe, he left. If the mysterious gentleman is behind the theft, he went to great lengths to hide his fingerprints, but did little to hide his movements in Mademoiselle Farquhar's cabin. There are many questions that require answers. Answers I believe he may hold. Okay, but can I... Deal. Okay. New mind map unlocked. Investigating the death was one of the last things I expected for my journey to London, but as an officer of the law, it is my duty to find who could have stolen Mademoiselle Farquhar's, Farquhar's cigarette case and why. Notice the number on the chain icon. It has been updated. Try connecting two pieces of evidence to form a deduction. Pay attention to the information given to succeed. Use mouse to highlight notes and to start and stop linking. No sign of tampering and dial. Dial. If the thief left any signs of accessing the safe, perhaps the fingerprint on the dial will be it. There are no clear obvious signs that the safe has been tampered with. The thief must have found another way in. Boris Vargas residence while on board. Let's see. These should then go to go there. One step closer to revealing the truth. Well done. You just made your first deduction. Linking existing evidence give you brand new evidence to use your investigation. Use right click and return to see. Given the state of the safe, I assume that he simply entered the code and took the contents. Again, we couldn't go back with the right click because we had that <laughs> here, the text. Uh, read the text time, sorry. Thief knew go to the safe. Given the state of the safe, I assume the thief simply entered the code and took the contents. Well, we don't have anything to connect that at this time. Try exploring the rest of the ship, gathering evidence and making deductions until you are able to solve your first investigation. Remember, you can left click on here to view your investigation and related actions. And this button to view your uh, inventory but uh maybe because i don't have anything in my inventory i don't see it just yet you are there let's see check the article an article from london illustrated news london illustrated news the changing world in which we live in and who is permitted to enjoy it florence fargar fine art, theatre and literature, as well as other mediums that are synonymous with the arts, have always been considered a middle and upper class area of enjoyment and pastime, with those that fall outside of that desired audience being shunned at the door. Even now, having taken the steps in the 20th century, there are those that continue to exclude the inexperienced and uneducated, the working class that have not had the privilege of seeing the true beauty of a Monet or read the powerful and relevant words of Charles Dickens in all their splendor. We now sit at the dawn of a new age, with London continuing to solidify its name as a pioneer, bringing art, music and literature to a modern audience that care more about the contents of their art form in front of them than the contents of their pockets. Ah, so you are idealist. And you are reporter. So you want to have art for the masses. How noble. <laughs> I think mm -hmm. I think I heard uh, sounded a little cynical there. <laughs> uh, it seems Mademoiselle Farquhar chose not to dine in the restaurant, but there are two teacups. Supper. Mm. 
I don't know if that really matters. We have wine, teacup, and Florence powder case. One must be careful with such delicate powder, a horrible mess it would cause, although it could come in useful. Oh, now we have it, so that's why. Can I take the magnifying glass? No. Unless... Uh, okay, we got the same thing. Mascara. Ah, I'm starting to see a pattern here. Makeup remains mystery to me, but judging by Mademoiselle Farquhar's fashion sense, this must be a popular shade. So, can I take any of... Wait, can I take any of these? Or did I already take something? Ah, I did. Luggage. I'm surprised mm. Mademoiselle Farquhar's luggage made it this far without spilling with the amount she packed. Can I interact with that? Huh. Not yet, at least. We have more packages there. Hanger. Um, I have a weird idea. Here. Let's see how it works. You. Oh, right. Use. Let's use powder. Perhaps the powder case I found may be some of, of some use. Some would say it's a rather rudimentary way of taking fingerprints. I say quite genius. No signs of any fingerprints on the dial. I may be dealing with a professional thief. Hmm. Well, that is interesting. Hmm. Do I want to talk to these people before I leave? I may want to. Anastasia? Mademoiselle Babanyan, I'm sorry we must continue our conversation under these circumstances. On the contrary, what fantastic luck that you are here. Now I get to see you at work. Aren't you assessing me? Please walk me through your movements since our first meeting. I'm afraid I've done very little, actually. After we parted ways, I went to my cabin. I had barely unpacked and I was fast asleep on the bed. Okay. Alone? That is a rather personal question, don't you think, detective? I'm sorry, I'm a little nervous. A poor attempt at a joke. Yes, I was alone. There is no need to be nervous. And then? And then I was woken up by Florence's scream. I have never heard something so terrifying. That was quite loud, given the circumstances, compared when she thought she was... when it... when she thought it was lost at the uh, first time. You have been most helpful, mademoiselle. I shall not take up any more of your time. And you, Florence. Mademoiselle Farquhar, I shall have your cigarette case returned to you before we reach the English coast. I hope so, detective. The newspaper. You caught me, reading my own article. I must say you raise a very interesting point. Art should have no social boundaries. Creativity is for all to enjoy. Thank you for saying that. I wish everyone was as open-minded. So how that would uh, come in play with the painting we are protecting. Merci, that is all for now. I'm guessing all of these people here are, will be connected somehow with the <laughs> painting, obviously. I shall take my leave now. Wait, why do we have something here? Or actually, what do we have in here? Anastasia Babanin sleeping in her cabin. Mademoiselle Babanin says she was quick to lay her head to rest, although there is no proof of her claim. No. 
let's check the outside first anything we can see anything on the windows there's still that coffee oh book big book uh reading hmm. an excellent way to distract oneself from the surrounding ocean accompanied with tea however i cannot agree with their choice of beverage yes telescope I'll interact with I'm that. I'm sorry, but it's oh. just not acceptable, Mark. Mark. I've apologized to the lady. And that makes everything all right? It was an accident. An accident that could have been avoided if you hadn't spent your morning drinking. Gentlemen, you are behaving like two young boys in the schoolyard. It ends now. Now. Telescope. Huh. A well-crafted brass telescope for viewing the open ocean and stars above. Why is it here then? Uh -huh. And unfortunately I cannot take it apparently. Uh, before I talk to Hastings here, uh, I'm fairly certain that guy is Hastings. I'm just trying to pull my leg there. Uh -huh. Okay, we cannot go there, so we need to talk to the Hastings. Well, hello there, thief. <laughs> is Mademoiselle Farquhar aware you are acting as her knight in shining armor? I wouldn't go as far as that. I think perhaps we have got off on the wrong foot. I'm Arthur Hastings. Would you... Aha! She requested you to follow her to her cabin, no? Oh, yes, she did, but I wanted to speak with the porter privately. This was part of your investigation. Well, I'm not a detective. I was just a... Uh... Then perhaps you will answer some questions that are vital to my investigation as a detective. Oh, by the way, if you know anything about Hastings, he, I, if I remember correctly in books, he is very fond of uh, women with auburn hair. What can I do for you? Uh, your work is in insurance. It is. Is my employment relevant to Miss Farquhar's missing cigarette case? I hope you will entertain me for a moment. What would you say the chances of proving a theft in a case such as this one are? Well, a report from a detective like yourself will certainly help expedite her insurance claim. As I thought. It had perhaps not crossed her mind before. But being amongst an officer of the law and an insurance man, the idea of insurance fraud may have appeared appealing. There is always a possibility for that, yes. Uh, let's start with this. When Florence, Miss Farquhar, told me that something had gone missing from her safe, I thought it must have been the porter. How so? I'd rather not say with him standing just there. <laughs> it is not I that controls the volume of your voice. You must have noticed the smell of beer on his breath. I wouldn't put it past a man that drinks on the job to steal. Oh, steady on, Hastings. That is quite the accusation. And if you were correct, you wish to settle the matter with him privately? I wanted to give him what for, but uh, I suppose I lost my nerve. And your work. I'm what some would call a middleman. I oversee the handling of recently sold items and put the buyer in contact with an appropriate insurer. The mention of insurance initially sparked my attention. But the more he talks of his work... I believe he may be my mysterious contact from Lloyd's of London. <laughs> Great, if that is true. It was your work that took you to Belgium? I can't go into too many details, but I'm actually delivering a rather special piece of art to London. Okay, yes. I'm meant to be meeting an official of some sorts that's supposed to be helping me, but no sign of them yet. But you have already met him. It is I. And it is confirmed. It concerns me that my supposed trusted colleague has found himself involved in the middle of my investigation. I will continue to withhold my true identity and see how Monsieur Hastings' involvement concludes. Well, he's an 
eager guy who tries his best, but yeah. Let's see. Monsieur. This really is an exciting case. Anything I can do to help Miss Farquhar, please don't hesitate to ask. No, I don't hesitate. Your enthusiasm has been noted. Yeah, his heart is in the right place, but that, it's not the heart I'm worried of. So what do we have here? Insurance claim is a possibility, yes. An opportune moment for a valuable item to go missing. Arthur Hastings. Monsieur Hastings was working alone in his cabin since helping Mademoiselle Farquhar with her luggage. So he says. Well, Hastings is a many things, but I don't think he is the criminal in this game. Well, that would be a totally interesting take. Criminal master my mind Arthur Hastings. Hello there. You and I can have a more civilized discussion. I'll tell you the same as I told your friend. I will not be bullied. Intimidation is not my forte. What is, is uncovering the identity of criminals and making sure they are punished to the fullest extent of the law. And that's me? Well, it remains to be seen. That is what I am yet to conclude. Um, alcohol at work. Who said anything about drinking alcohol? <laughs> Dude, you're, you're, you're slurring there. It does not take a detective to identify the distinct odor on one's breath. Maybe one to calm my nerves. My sea legs aren't here yet, that's all. I was in the cargo hold, cutting something with my knife, and it slipped. No harm done. I'm not quite sure you understand what that means. So now I am stupid and a drunk? Do you have the knife in question on your person now? I don't. He stole it and won't return it. Wait, what? Hastings? So, can we go to the dining dining room? No. Ah. Okay. So, no going to the dining room, and we aren't going upstairs either. But Hastings, give me the knife. Um... Uh... Yeah, had an... Although Monsieur Hastings was quick to offer up the knife, he must have known what position he was putting himself in by handling it. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. We already know he's going to hand it to us, to us, but we haven't even talked to him about it. What can I do for you? Uh, knife. Oh. Well, there is blood. Monsieur Allard cut himself on. Well, yes. So let's rotate. Oh. Slightest metallic flakes still clinging. There appears to be slight. Okay. Don't know how do I. Interact with that information. So we need some. Huh. A standard handle for a such knife. So I guess it, uh, it it's small, and when you're close to what you're looking for, it uh, it grows. A sailor's marlin spike with a foldable blade and stained spiked tip. Hmm. Can we do anything about that? Inspect the ship. Check for fingerprints. I thought we already did. Can I? Hmm. Oh, we don't have the knife in here then. I was thinking maybe we can check the fingerprints, but let's talk to him about the knife if we can. We, oui, oui, Monsieur. Ah, we can't. I shall let you return to your duties. So I guess we need to go back here to the cabin. Ah, door handle. Oh. That would go with the knife. Uh -huh. 
these scratches must have been made by something sharp. A blade, perhaps. Yeah, there's uh, metal flakes in the knife, so it could point towards that. Now, we have a fingerprint over there, obviously. Ooh. The light is catching part of a fingerprint. I do not have appropriate tools with me, but I'm sure I can find a way to reveal the full print. Yes, you can. So, let's use the powder. Maybe of some use. Some would say it's a rather rudimentary way. Yes, we know that. A, a fingerprint. Now to determine who it belongs to. You found one, detective? Oh, how exciting! I suppose you'll want to take mine. To rule me out, I mean. Okay. Sure. Um... I think I can take their fingerprints. You could ask me anything. Sample of your fingerprint, then. Am I to be used as your guinea pig? Well, I wouldn't go that far. I would not dare compare you to a guinea pig. Would you be so kind? The answer is yes, of course. I have nothing to hide. Now, uh, how are you going to... Oh, we need something else. Uh, one must be careful with just dedicate butter. Yes, we could use this, and we are using this, but we need something else. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, we're missing one item, so that means a paper or something like that. Anything in here we could use? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, no. Anything in the trash bin? Nothing. Do I... Can I take the newspaper? Or is there something on the table? I have to remember that I can... No. I can turn around the camera. Hmm. Sink. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the mirror is quite high. Nope. Nothing in here. But we need... Ah. I couldn't... Interact that with earlier. Okay. Fine. I will be attending uh, in a professional capacity, but I would have very much liked an invite of my own as a souvenir of my time in London. The committee at the Royal Edward Gallery requests the pleasure of the presence of Miss Florence Farquhar the, to the unveiling of extraordinary new exhibition for, from the Musée Royal de Bayeux Art de Belgique. Belgique, wait. I, okay, that, <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that. I was just going on the floor with it, including uh, the penitent Magdalene. Okay, we have a formal. Okay, can I use that as a <clears throat> paper for? Let's see. You could ask me any. Yes, let's Am see. I, be... I would not dare come. The answer is yes. Yes, we know. Mm. Ah. Being a print sample from the others, taking Ben Vassil Farquhar will allow me to compare what prints are hers with those that may belong to our thief. Uh, followed by the sample of Monsieur Hastings and Monsieur Allard. The only fingerprint that remains on the door is the one left by Mademoiselle Farquhar upon returning to her cabin. The culprit continued to evade me. There must be something I have not considered. So, wait. Am I taking... Am I taking your... Oh, finger? Of course. Whatever... Uh... Insured? Oh no, why would I have it insured? Hmm, okay. Anything of substantial monetary value? I'll stop you there, detective. The cigarette case itself is hardly worth two pennies, but to me, it's priceless. Okay. Um... Uh... Not for a second. At least not with my permission. You probably think this silly, naive woman has left her valuables out, or I've just misplaced them. But I assure you, that is not me. 
well, obviously thinking that, but had not crossed my mind for even a moment. The gala invitation. Yes, I'm really quite excited about it. You have been invited to a preview at the Royal Edward Gallery. A small world indeed. Will you be in attendance? It's actually one of the reasons that I have been in Belgium. I was lucky enough to have a sneak peek at some of the pieces on show. I'll also be writing a follow-up article on the success of it. Fingers crossed! Lucky indeed. I am sure it will be a great success. Uh, scratches. Who would have caused the scratches? Um... Mark. Mm, why the porter? Um, we are missing one thing. Okay, so we are missing something. Nasty one. Why the porter? There is something missing, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, we need some more clues. Uh, what do I have? I have. Did I take the... I hope I took the fingerprints already. Let's go and connect some dots. No fingerprints on dial. None of the subsequently floor and safe combination goat. No signs of tampering. Something just does not feel oh. right. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, I need to read this a little bit careful. No, nope. don't click it. Well, click it. Strange to find no fingerprints on the dial at all. I can confirm that none of the suspects used the code to access the safe. Huh. Really? If the thief left any signs of accessing the safe, perhaps the fingerprint on the dial will be it. But there's no... Can I connect these? This will not get me any closer to my goal. Um... No useful fingerprints remain on the door. Mademoiselle Farquhar's fingerprint is the only one that remains on the door handle from the when she returned. So somebody. Um, hmm. I cannot see the logic in this. Wait, what? Oh, do I need to connect this? Then. Come, my little grey cells. We... No fingerprints on dial. No useful fingerprints on remain the door handle. None of the suspects. Uh, hmm. Can I connect these? Some would say a lucky guess. I would say a moment of genius. Is Remain. The thief has been careful to cover their tracks. Yes, that is true. None of the suspects knew the forensic safe combination code. So, do I connect this to this? What a revelation! Although the suspects did not have the code to the safe, there is still chance that it was cracked open. Uh, tracks covered. The, no useful fingerprints remain. The thief has been careful to cover their tracks. Although the suspects did not have the code to the safe, there is still a chance that it was cracked open. Um, can I connect these? No. Where is the sense in? Oh. Um. Or is it this then? Come now. Think. Useful fingerprints remain. No signs of tampering. I must take oh. a different approach if I am to. I must act <laughs> on thought and fact. I had this problem. I had this problem when I was playing there earlier because um. What do I want to connect? Although the suspects did not have the code, 
to the safe, there is still the chance that it was cracked open. Um, so is it this then? I should consider this further. Okay, no. There's nothing. Um, hmm. Did I? I did already try that. Uh, Is there okay, I that doesn't work. So <laughs> now it's just going. Tracks covered. None of the suspects knew that Warren safe combination code. No such. Did it? I already tried this. Order and method. That is the way to. <sighs> hmm. Let's see. There's something in here too. Contradiction. Mademoiselle Fakwa is clearly upset, but its sentimental value appears to outweigh its monetary. Is that still a contradiction or not? Huh. Can I talk to you something more? Whatever you Scratches, okay. Oh right, uh, but we need something more for that. I can't interact with the door anymore. Anything new with you? You could ask me anything. Can I? Uh, apparently nothing. You have been most helpful, mademoiselle. Hmm. Oh no, no, there's nothing there. Uh, wait. Can I do anything with this? Oh. No. Yeah, I had the same problem with the um, first cases that sometimes I didn't know what to connect to where. Oui, oui, monsieur. So we I can't. Let you return to you. Okay, so there's nothing we can talk to you at the moment. Can we do anything with the book? Ah, no, we can't do anything with that. What about the telescope? What is, why is it here? Can we not do anything with that? Ah. No, do you have anything to say? What can I do for you? Uh, Monsieur Porter's knife, may I see it? Ah. Tilt spike tip. Okay. So. Okay. We need to connect this. So. The safe was cracked. If the if the Tiflet any sign is accessing the safe, perhaps the fingerprint of Da will be it. Uh, but. The evidence suggests something else. Yeah, but there's n there's no fingerprint. <sighs> hmm. Where is the sense in that? I don't know anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm come now. I'm just gonna mm. click this through because now I'm a little lost. I should consider this first. So this didn't work with anything. The safe was cracked. No fingerprints in the order and method. That is the Okay. No useful? This will not get me any Tracks. Hot on the culprit's heels. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No useful fingerprints remain. Although the... 
What does it say? Can I check this once more? Although the suspect did not have the code to the safe, there is still chance that it was cracked open. No useful fingerprints remain. The thief has been careful to cover their tracks. Okay, so apparently these two needed to connect. Ah. Yeah, we will probably see that quite a lot. That I'm a little confused what I'm supposed to do. But what I'm supposed to do now. What can I do for you? Um we know the pocket knife. Yeah, been most helpful. Oh, you can't uh turn around in here. Book. So can I talk to you anything? Uh, nothing at all. I shall let you return. Okay, what am I missing? Obviously it says uh, inspect the ship. So maybe I have to go back to the safe. So anything we can find from here. Oh, we cannot search it. Right. Um, hmm. So we know that, yes. Now we have that paper again, I think. Yes. Why did we lose it in the first place? You could ask me any. Okay, no fingerprints. Um. Of course. Okay, scratches. Hmm. By the way, she has gloves. Of course. What would happen if I choose her? Okay, that is not right. So far, no. So it's Mark Allard. Suspect I photo scratches the portal mark, yes. But I was thinking more about the So owns a sailing knife, essential of doing why the porter. Uh but we are missing one. This is correct. Ah. Oh, looking at the condition of the door and its lock, I cannot rule out the drunken attempt to open it. But the problem is, everything else is much more cleaner. That's why I think thought that the drunken part would be incorrect. Uh, expert breaking or drunken breaking? Um. Looking at the condition of the door and its lock, I cannot rule out a drunken attempt to open it. The thieves attempt to fool me and cover the tracks only show they knew exactly what they were doing. Uh... Tracks covered. The evidence suggests something else. Wait. Doesn't this work with the tracks covered? Okay, where can I? No useful fingerprints remain the door handle. The safe was cracked. No fi Basically, this all could go with that. Uh, um. No sign of tampering. I cannot see the logic in this. Why? Perhaps Why? I Why wouldn't that work? <laughs> um. No useful. F <sighs> or do I connect these two? Okay. I was thinking that I have to. 
Okay, now I see. I can confirm that the portal was nothing more than a scapegoat for the thief. The erratic scratches on the door lock were made to make me believe he was behind the theft. Another success. I never doubted myself. I did, actually. So, Porter frame. My initial suspicion that the Porter may have been the thief is beginning to waver. Would someone go to the lengths of framing him? Of course. Yeah, my mistake um, was thing, thinking to connect the expert breaking to something that points toward it. Like, no fingerprints, uh, no sign of tampering, tracks covered, but uh, yeah, apparently I had to just connect it with the trunk and breaking. Then we know that the portal was framed because yes. Um, now I must consider the suspects I have in front of me. Monsieur Hastings. He is keen to impress Mademoiselle Farquhar and claims that he was alone in his cabin working since. Mark Allard, the porter. Evidence suggests a rather amateur attempt to break into the safe, which in his intoxicated state would make sense. Okay. But it was just a room. The safe was opened quite masterfully, leaving only signs of a poorly attempted break-in. Mademoiselle Babania, a new friend to Mademoiselle Farquhar, who appeared at a most convenient time. I cannot see a motive besides the obvious value of the cigarette case, but Mademoiselle Farquhar has made it quite clear the value is of a sentimental nature. Perhaps the best thing for me would be to return to my cabin to think. I fear my legs and perhaps even my evening meal will not last much longer amidst these waves. Perhaps. Okay. Um, I would like to say it's uh, Babanin. But what's the motive? Also, it could be her, but again, what's the motive? Just a test. Ah, detective. How goes the investigation? A good detective, better yet, a great detective, will find motive, means, and opportunity. She found it! Miss Babanian found it! Oh, thank heavens! Well, that's convenient. I was on my way to speak with the captain when I saw something shining underneath one of those pipes. Strange that it was not spotted earlier by any one of us while on the ship's deck. Maybe the thief was scared and dumped it for fear of being caught red-handed. Miss Babanian, Anastasia, you saved the day. I can't thank you enough. And you, of course, detective. I find Mademoiselle Babania's explanation of finding the cigarette case rather coincidental. But without any definitive proof, I cannot suggest anything otherwise. The cigarette case has been returned and the coast is in sight, which is what is important. Although, there still remains a part of me that craves the truth. I suppose you can chalk that up as a victory. A victory for Mademoiselle Farquhar, but not in the eyes of the law. Well, if anyone asks, I'll confirm what a splendid job you did. Very kind, Monsieur. While we are on the matter of truth, Monsieur Arthur Hastings, you are here to oversee the transportation of the penitent Magdalene painting, are you not? How on earth? You are aware of my employment, but not of my true identity. Detective Hercule Poirot. Wait, are you the official that I was supposed to have met on board? Oui, monsieur. Please, accept my apologies for keeping my true identity hidden. But I had to be sure your involvement with the theft was purely coincidental. When it comes to the nature of our work, trust must be earned. A little unorthodox, but I suppose I understand. So you can trust me now? It continues to grow. Well, we have a couple of weeks before the gala, so hopefully... By then, you'll trust me with your life. Hmm. One can hope. But I still want to know who did it. Okay. Acupora, Mr. Hastings. Okay. Oh, secure. That was fast.
the London case. Well, I'm fairly certain that we will end this for now, but let's see where we go. Chapter 1 The Gala I'll ever stop being amazed seeing such incredible pieces up close. One would certainly hope not. Penitent. Ah. ah. Hmm. A near perfect complexion as I have seen before. Oh. A subtle and yet powerful halo circling Mary's head. Hmm. Her lustrous eyes focus their attention to something in the distance. Hmm. Contrast between the deep and vibrant red of her hair and softness of her lips gives a most feminine and tender appearance. gentlemen think of this particular piece can it really be to a layman perhaps I'm afraid it's a complete fake girl with a pearl earring no such eloquent and delicate work very observant but that doesn't make it authentic you know even Michelangelo himself was an art forger in his early career. Why do you sound so angry? See if you can spot the telltale sign of a forgery. Oh, great. Hmm. So we're dealing with forgeries to you now. Um... Huh. Unblemished. Uh... Crackler on the turban. Up. Oh. Crackler on the dress. Okay, how do I connect the this? Is inconsistent across the painting. Surely a sign of a cheap imitation. Very impressive, detective. Unconvincing aging is one of the most common giveaways of a forgery, whether it be in the crackula, the smells of chemicals used to artificially age the painting, pigments that haven't dulled with age. Sometimes it's as simple as the materials used, just not existing at the time of painting. The trustees were quite excited by its arrival, but it didn't take me long to identify its faults. Quite the detective yourself, Mademoiselle Warbeck. Please, call me Evelyn. If there's one thing I've learned in the short time I've spent with the detective here, formalities and politeness are essential. Indeed. They are a cornerstone of modern civilization and must be upheld. This city could benefit from more gentlemen like yourself. Now that the etiquette of our greetings has been decided, shall we finalize preparations? I was hoping you'd say that. The exhibition area needs to be secured. I wonder if you would be able to lock the remaining doors for me? I'll lock the west wing door when I'm finished there. And if you could tie this ribbon around the handles of the main door for me, I'll leave it outside. If securing the exhibition room is what Mademoiselle Warbeck requires, that is what shall be done. But that is something we shall do in the next episode. And... Who stole Florence's cigarette case? We still don't know, but I guess we will find out that later. Well, there's only two possibilities. Either Florence herself uh, hid it for some unknown reason. Maybe a test. Maybe something else. Or Anastasia stole it. But again, why would she do it? I'm almost certain that these are working together for some reason. Maybe. Maybe. But maybe I'll find that out. 
and yes we will probably see uh, quite a few times those uh, mind map follies I will do because at the times uh, maybe it's because I'm a little tired but I had a little problem with the first cases too that it was sometimes hard to uh, decipher you had those points and you try to decipher what is the ultimate goal that the uh, Poirot needs to realize. Like I was thinking uh, with the um, botched thief, drunken thief and expert thief, I was thinking more of um, that I have to find a connection with the either drunken thief to something else or expert thief to something else, like uh, hiding the uh, evidence, uh, cleaning things and whatnot, and those would uh, point towards that it was an expert thief. I didn't realize uh, that I have to, well, fortunately I did finally realize, but I didn't realize that I need to connect the expert thief to the drunken thief, and then we realize, well, it couldn't be a drunken thief because he worked as an expert, which we pretty much already knew. Yeah, you see the problem. There's always this little problem. So let's see how, how it goes. Again, it's not a bad thing overall, but uh, it's sometimes hard to, for me at least, to decipher. And I think a few people in the um, early cases, first cases, also complained that it was sometimes a little bit vague uh, to realize what you need to connect together to move the story forward. You may know what you may know you may have the answer already but you need to get the connection to get the story move forward because the story won't move forward until you get the connection so there's always that so there's uh, always these little things so we will see how it goes uh i have to remember we can turn around i can't remember if it was in the original probably not although i might be misremembering uh for other than that, of course, a little uh, <laughs> weird things like uh, walking towards and whatnot, but uh, overall, uh, interesting start. Characters, if I'm the characters in the first cases were interesting people, so I'm fairly certain they will be interesting in this too. And uh, it it's interesting to see how the um, that cigarette case uh, ties into this. And uh, the Farquhar's uh, ideas of uh, art for everybody. And now we have a person who knows how to deci decipher a fake painting. So we will, will we have a fake paintings here too? Probably. Probably not. Who knows? Um, one thing with the inventory was uh, I thought I had the knife and then can I have the knife and... Then I didn't have it in my inventory, the paper. I guess the idea was that uh, once I took the fingerprints uh, from the Anastasia, then I took them from everyone, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, I, we will see how this evolves and I'm definitely going to play this through. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time. Until then. Goodbye.